A couple of months ago, whenever you logged on to the internet, your feed was bombarded with phrases such as equal pay, wage gap, we want money. And now that the topic cooled off a little, it's my job to do a nicely constructed video analysis because apparently no one has the guts to do these kinds of videos. It's a serious video, this is no joke. I'll compare the two sports, I'll present you with the facts, and I'll come up with some solutions. So without further ado, let's see if female footballers can in the near future earn as much as men. Football is a product, and the product they are selling is entertainment. People decide to pay and watch football because they like seeing their favorite players chasing a ball. It's not a charity act. Male footballers get paid more because they provide more value for their clubs and organizations. Men's football was established before. They have higher standards, the viewership is higher, hence sponsors taking the risk to invest. As of today, they earn less because of basic economics. There isn't much demand, which means the earnings are lower. Fortunately, women's football is progressing, and in a few decades, their situation will improve. Men needed more than a century to earn millions, so why the rush? Just let it sprout organically, right? So let's start with who consumes football. Well, we can all agree that on the international level, the TV ratings and the attendance is great for both the Men's World Cup and the Women's World Cup. In the last World Cups, the attendance was 47k for men and 21k for women. Well, it looks healthy, so why aren't advertisers pouring in more money? Well, the issue is actually club football. The average attendance in the EPL last year was 38,000 people. However, for women, the average attendance in the Women's English Super League was 800 fans. Yeah, only 800 people. What some humans fail to understand is that club football is more important for the development of the younger and upcoming talents. Who do you think teaches football rules and tactics to young players? Who do you think supervises them since their childhood? It's football clubs, it's Barcelona, Chelsea, Ajax, and thousands of other clubs who take the risk and invest and give shelter to the kids. It's the private sector that's in charge of developing elite future talents, and not the football associations. Filling up the whole stadium with fans in the 2019 World Cup final won't improve their situation, because the money is not going to the right place. Want an easy fix? Well, fans and especially women should just start watching more football, buy tickets, attend matches, and support your fellow women. Case closed, we've just fixed the sport, right? Oh god, no. I forgot something, not many women watch sports in general compared to men. We're talking about consistency here and not a couple games per year. So why? I tried to find something on the internet about the topic and I only found boring stuff like gender bias and girls are conditioned to watch men's sports since their childhood and blah 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 blah, which totally misses the point. Football is entertainment, and you can't force anyone to watch it if they don't like it. Women just like watching other stuff like soap operas or reality TV shows or beauty channels on freaking YouTube. Men like it because of the competitive factor, I guess. It's ingrained in our DNA. Men are made for physical labor. I always like to make the analogy between modern team sports and war. Gladiators. Men just like fighting and clashing against each other. It's been like this for thousands of years, and it's never going to change. Well, there are sports who have a bigger following for female athletes, like gymnastics and ice skating. You know, feminine activities. Well, in reality, the average woman does like sports, but not necessarily team sports. Because of their different lifestyles, they do yoga, jogging, body exercises. They practice these more because they want to be lean and feminine, and football is rough on the legs. And a lot of women don't like having muscles. And it's the opposite for men, all of them want to have six packs, you know. It's the 21st century, and stadium attendance is not the only parameter that shows us who cares the most about football. There's also social media. Who do you think watches my videos the most? Yeah, yeah, it's obviously men. But how much? 60%? <laughs> no, that, that, that's too low. 80%? Nah, nah, more, more. 90%? Well, you're pretty close. Since my first video in 2015 till the last one in 2019, I have amassed 10 million views, and 94% of those came from men. And I'm not the only one who has a male majority. A friend of mine who also makes football videos has the same numbers. 90% for men and 8% for women. So with all of these statements I said about why it's not popular and why they can't earn as much as men, can I give solutions for the ladies in order to improve their game? Well, of course, why do you think I'm making this video in the first place? Firstly, change the rules. Make the football pitches smaller. Why not? Women are smaller, weaker, and slower than men. So why not adapt the game to women instead of doing the opposite? 
The goalkeepers lack quality, why not make the nets smaller too? Make everything smaller, even the ball itself should become lighter and smaller, so that the outfield players can control the ball better, shoot harder, and female goalies can also handle it better. Hey, 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 you can't simply change the rules. It's a universal sport. It should stay exactly the same for everyone whether a man or a monkey is playing it. Well, you're a blockhead because in other sports, both men and women practice slightly different versions of the same sports. In tennis, men need three out of five sets to win. Women only need two out of three. Men practice baseball, women softball. In great iron, aka American football, women have smaller pitches. This will make the sports faster and more enjoyable to watch, because let's be real here, people who do not watch football already will not turn on their TVs and watch women's football consistently. They do not like football in the first place. What they should work on is attract the already existing fan base of approximately a billion people who watch men's football. Change the rules, women get better, and surely the fan base will grow. Well, if they don't like the idea of changing the dimensions of football pitches, long story short, my second solution is women should focus more on teamwork rather than trying to copy the men's style of playing. What's the fastest thing in a football field? It's the ball. It can exceed speeds of 100 km per hour. If women are physically slower, well, focus more on the passing and the positional aspects of football. This solution does have obstacles. There are simply not enough great coaches that can spark a revolution in women's football. Most of them are men, and those guys aspire to be in the men's game because it's their choice and they always dreamed about it. Men needed more than a century of ever-evolving tactics to become this competitive. Women need more experience, and for that, you need more time. The best solution out of the two is actually the third one, which is implementing both of the first and second solutions together. For the betterment of women's football, they need to change a few things, or they will always be compared with men. I've never seen a bag of money score a goal. More money doesn't equal quality. Case closed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a few days. Ciao. Bye. Au revoir.